Hey everybody! Welcome to Jackass. Now welcome to Northern Lions Challenge Runs from the Binding of Ice. This is a run suggested by uh, a few YouTube users, but the one that I have written down here is Wait What You Mean, who suggested, hey, why not do a run with eight cubes of meat, as well as uh, SMB Superfans. So basically we've got three Meat Boys going on here. There's some strict rules for this run uh, that were not listed in the actual run itself, but I'm adding myself because otherwise I feel like it'd be far too easy. Uh, I think for this run I'm going to do no item rooms, no shops, maybe shops. I don't know. I'm not totally decided on this. Yet. Like I've never, oh, oh god damn it! I've never done any min maxing to like figure out what the proper balance for this would be. Um, but um, certainly no item rooms, uh, and maybe no boss rooms as well. But I guess maybe we'll relax that. Uh, as time goes on, but for now let's try to be a little bit strict. I think shops should be okay, because, you know, I gotta get rid of this D6 at some point for something anyway. People are probably gonna inevitably suggest, hey, why not allow shops, but only allow shops, um, that give you an item that Meat Boy would actually use. Well, this doesn't really make any sense, because Meat Boy doesn't use items. with well, shears! <laughs> okay, maybe I'll make one exception, and I'll take the shears. This gets rid of our spacebar item, which was the D6, but beyond that, it also gives us the option of having another Meat Boy around for boss fights, which to me is just too funny to pass up. So we're gonna go with that. It might be against the spirit of things slightly, but I don't feel like it's a big mistake. And I feel like it'll provide more entertainment run on this one anyway. Okay, so you guys take care of Pin. I'm gonna use the Shears, and we're gonna take that guy out in two seconds. So I will get... Ah, uh, you know, we should probably skip this reason I'm thinking this is because we're gonna get a little bit too overpowered too quickly. I'm almost, it's being left at my own discretion, but that's okay, that's not always a bad thing. And I'm going into these item rooms basically just to see what I will be missing. So we aren't doing that same run we did last time, so I can pick up spirit hearts. That is Isaac's, or that is um, my best friend, which is an item that I think is largely garbage. Largely garbage, by the way, sounds like the name of a, a Greek man that nobody likes. Can you get in here? Meat Boys. I don't think I've seen this room layout before. It's been a long time since I said that. There we go. One of them at least has the, the smarts to go after that guy. So I don't know how this run's gonna work. I mean, obviously on bosses, particularly bosses that stay still, we should be able to do a staggering amount of damage, but uh, I don't know about other bosses. In the meantime, though, certainly cannot complain. Let's drop a bomb right here. Always gotta be careful, because Meat Boy has a propensity to love killing me with my own bombs. So if we picked up something like, uh, you know what, Dr. Fetus items I think should be allowed too. We'll just do a str and uh, Chub items and Chad items. Uh, anything that has a reference to Meat Boy in it, I guess, well Larry Jr. does, but it's not like we can do anything with that. Um, yeah, but anything that has some kind of referential relationship to Meat Boy, which, you know, there's a lot of items that do have that, uh, we should be able to pick up, I feel. But that's not gonna be too, too many items. And for now, that's not a big deal, because we are going to be taking out these enemies, unbelievably quickly. We're basically giving ourselves a, a challenge run here that the game might give us. I mean, the game already gives us a cube of meat, or, um, the meat challenge run. Don't move the bomb, thank you. Uh, a meaty challenge run, uh, but we're gonna make, put things in our own hands, shall we say. So we're gonna fight our second boss here, a fight that I assume is gonna be real easy, especially now that I can fly. Meat boys, do my bidding! Oh man, that is gonna be quick. I'm digging this this combination for boss fights, so I'm gonna skip Squeezy, which is not from Meat Boy. Uh, none of that stuff is from Meat Boy either, although I feel like Spirit of the Night would be so awesome, but I can't really justify taking it. It's a damn shame, but we'll continue moving onwards here. We already have our boss room, which is awesome. We'll probably not fight the boss right away, because I'd love to have the shears ready for that fight. Just in case it's something different. Ah, uh, maybe we'll fight it right away. Who knows? I would love to get another key so we can go to that item room as well. So we're fighting this douchebag. Uh, I expect we do not need the shears for this fight anyway, so missing out on that is not uh, the end of the world, although I did take some pretty awful damage here. Come on, meat boy. Step up to the streets. There we go. And we just got two of these fast-moving assholes. And I continue to get hit in the worst possible way. Coat hanger, I believe, is not a reference. The meat boy, you know what? Why not skip this floor then? And what are we looking for in terms of um, where we're gonna finish this this game? Well, we're gonna get as far as we can, which in our current save, I believe, means uh, we'll, we'll try to beat the entire thing. We'll try to get through to Blue Baby. It's pretty unlikely. The, the reason is we're not gonna be getting like 
nearly any health upgrades. It's possible if I'd gone for every item, we would have had a chance in the chest, because we would have had what by now? Well, you know, a few tiers upgrades. Seriously, Meat Boys, get out there. I guess I should just shoot this poop so that they can kill the fly, and then we automatically go for that guy. Okay. Um, and Spirit of the Night as well would have made things, obviously, easier for us. Meat Boys, I need you to do something here. Thank you. How about this one now? Keep in mind, SMA Superfan gave us a little extra health. It also gives us a little extra damage. Not much, uh, but one damage up. It is an all-stats upgrade, so it's okay. As is right now, I think our Meat Boy run is going okay. It would be better if they would actually, like, follow me into battle at all here. There we go. That's more along the lines of what I was looking- That didn't kill him? That was more along the lines of what I was looking for briefly, anyway. We may indeed have to start going for item rooms here. So we'll pick up this and this. We do have an item room. It does not have a relationship to Super Meat Boy, I believe. I believe the Game Kid is merely, you know, just a reference to the Game Boy. Obviously, I'm a super genius for figuring out that reference on my own. Um, so we have nubs in here. This is going to be a room that I'm going to have to take out entirely by myself. God, I have to do everything around here. You're not even my real dad. So we do this. Uh, we finally get a little bit of extra health. Health has been in a premium so far. I've been taking a pretty bad amount of damage. I'm not going to say staggering, because let's be honest, we all probably expected it. But certainly I would love to take less damage than I have been taking, because I, I want to keep Spirit Hearts with me for as much of the game as possible. That is not our secret room. Where's my secret room? I was trying to do where's my super suit. It didn't really work out. Um, it will come up here. We've got Super Gluttony. This could be an HP upgrade, which we couldn't use anyway, but hey, it's the thought that counts, Troll Engine. There we go, it is dead. I'd actually, the, the health is better than the, uh, the HP upgrade that we wouldn't have been able to take anyway. So please, just stand still. Let the Meat Boys take care of it. Do it up. Okay, I made it out. Seriously? They need to increase the vision on these Meat Boys. They're like an infant that's just come out of the womb and its eyes are completely, you know, used to just not seeing anything in a viscous medium. Or meaty, yeah, viscous medium. But these meat boys, you're always smiling. Never killing. Oh, there we go, thank you. Maybe not never killing, but not killing as much as I would like. Our boss should be right over here, presumably. Again, we're just gonna back off of these douchebags and let the chain reaction finish them off. We'll get a little bit of little bit of money. So much for shops. I mean, I have been kind of skipping through a lot, but obviously could not really rely on shops to help me out too much here. What do we have here? Nothing. But I expect that this boss fight is gonna be over in like two seconds. Oh, I almost took some damage there. Shears is going. Both Meat Boys are going in for the kill. Wretched is not even gonna get a chance to take a single jump, which is kind of silly. But it jumped, it might have prolonged its life a little bit. What do we get? Lipstick, not a Super Meat Boy reference. I mean, neither is the Shears, but again, the option to have three Meat Boys was impossible for me to pass up. Now, nobody ever said these Meat Boys were smart. They're gonna go after uh, the Blue Spikes. I mean, don't get me wrong, I hate the Blue Spikes as much as the next guy. One of the most annoying enemies in the game, to be sure. However, come on, just a little bit- there we go. I'm hitting it with one side of tears anyway. Yeah, the blue spikes are true assholes, however. They're not gonna actually die when Meat Boy comes up to them. Okay, we made it through. That's okay. That was a little scary. Meat Boy's come with us into the next room. I don't want to waste a bomb to get this tinted rock. Come on. Whoa, there's the secret room too. Come on. You can- No! Meat Boy, no! The one time! I didn't want you to do that. Uh, we'll certainly go to the secret- Oh, you dicks. We'll certainly go to the secret room anyway. I need another bomb now to get back to that tinted rock though. Thanks for the three cents. We will put that to good use in the shop potentially. You know, buy some bombs or keys or something. Um, uh, come over here. There's our boss. Help me! Save me from Spider Town, me boy! He can do it. I've got faith in him. I would love to have just like the four level four Meat Boys circling around me like an attack fly or something. Then I would feel like the protection from their strong arms, but also uh, the strength from their damage. Please, Meat Boy, please me, but thank you. And other Meat Boy, shut the fuck up about this neutral fly, man. Go after the greed head. That's the one piece of overarching strategy I've learned so far. 
is always get rid of the neutral enemies as fast as possible because the meat boys are too dumb to not ignore them so again we're just looking out for another bomb in the hopes that I can <clears throat> pardon me pick up a tinted rock which has some spirit hearts in it or maybe uh, the rock which would be a damage upgrade which we wouldn't be able to use anyway because it doesn't relate to super meat boy let's pop this open eternal heart I'm gonna pick it up even though it technically doesn't relate to super meat boy because it's technically not oh there it goes anyway it's technically not an item it's a consumable or at least it's consumable when I pick it up for a lot of people it eventually becomes an HP upgrade but I wouldn't know what that's like. So here we go. <clears throat> I'm not trying to channel my best Sean Connery here. I'm just having a laugh. Um, we got zombies. Who will now be dead. We've got nothing else dropped in this room, which is pretty shitty. Obviously, I want to go to the shop and item room as well, just in case the off chance there's, you know, like a little chat or a little chub in one of them. Could happen. Not in the shop, in the item room, potentially. Ah, this guy's a dick. And we are going to reverse dickishness on the polarities here, and we should be able to kill him very quickly. Of course, I might have to engineer it myself to start with, because we're going to have to kill this heart, because our meat boys are going to go directly after the mask. Because that's like rule number one of, of having meat boys, is that if there's a, an enemy they can damage, follow it with an enemy they cannot damage, they will always go after the enemy they cannot damage. So I'm just going to try to stay as far away from the mask as I can in the hopes that uh, it'll continually travel slowly and Meat Boy will be able to, you know, get a lot of uh, good FaceTime with it. Back of the FaceTime, anyway. Again, I'm just staying as far away as I can. It should get a few decent bites in there. Oh, no! <laughs> that was actually really easy. Obviously, we can't do anything about Mom's panties there. I gotta say, though, for being a, an obese... Middle-aged woman, mom has some fairly nice taste in underwear. That's some underwear that I could see myself pulling off with my teeth and then spitting onto the floor. Um, that was disturbing. Let's continue moving onwards here. I do want to get that extra scent because we might need it for the shop, but we might just pick up a scent randomly anyway. And who knows, maybe we'll pick up a good item for the shop. I'm struggling with where, we, where we're at right now with respect to the game because we're doing okay and there's certainly no... I, I can't go to a shop and feel like it's warranted for me to like buy an item that's you know like a nail or book of revelations or something like that that's going to give me a much better chance because we're doing fine child's heart i'm going to take that you know it's not necessarily related to super meat boy although super meat boy did ruin this child's heart with too much love and adoration i don't know i'm trying here bust it open kill him hack the bone we agreed of course the one shop we go to we get greed maybe that's comeuppance for me being like well you know we should probably pick up some good items I can't justify it but fuck you uh, what is our tarot card the world well I guess we might as well use one and we'll take the other one down to the next floor it'll save us a little bit of time as we move through here and I don't foresee a, a very quick end in sight here but what the problem is because we have so little health and so little tolerance to losing health given that we only have four heart containers What'll probably end up happening is we'll, we'll be fine, and then one floor will just prove to be too hard for us, and we'll lose it all there. But hey, for now, it's been a fun run. Ghost Baby is not related to Super Meat Boy. Never realized how few items are actually related to Super Meat Boy until you, uh, you know, play for yourself with this kind of restriction. Mind you, I probably shouldn't have taken the shears in that case, but oh well. We do have a bomb now. Where's our Tinted Rock? It was back here? Yeah. Spirit Hearts galore, please. Meat Boys don't get any ideas. Okay, so we got a bomb and another Spirit Heart as a result of that. Not bad. I'll take it. And we'll exit, because I don't want to deal with that shit anymore. Blue Spikes are the worst, man. Hopefully we don't have Necropolis next. So, 14 minutes. We are done with Necropolis 1. We are going down to, hopefully, the Depths Part 2. This is Necropolis. That's unfortunate. Now we do probably have two uses of our shears on this floor, and by probably I mean almost certainly. Very strong potential. Um, but I don't, I want to save it just in case maybe we want to get off this floor a little bit earlier than usual. Who knows? At the very least, I also don't want to abuse the shears because I kind of feel like it's outside of the spirit of the, the challenge. For now, we're doing what we always do on these rooms, or on these floors, which is like getting a bead for the size of the floor in general before we commit to a direction. I guess I don't do that every time, but I've started doing it more often. Just kind of get a feel for how long the floor is, or how like vertically long it is, and then start branching off from there. I hate this room. Meat Boys hook me up. 
I always, like, things go well, and then I start to get, like, trapped into a corner. I need these guys to go after the hearts. That's the problem. Oh, they, one of them's attacking a heart. Or it was briefly, anyway. Almost took some damage there. Managed to get myself out of there in the nick of time. There we go. Meat Boy Chew. Bite. Kill. Kill. Ha. Ah, ha. Ah. Kalima. <laughs> Oh, what do we have here? A pill. The pills relate to Super Meat Boy? Whoa, okay. Uh, kind of wish I hadn't taken that, because now I... Well, I guess we're at the shop now, so it's okay. That thing killed itself, that's cool too. Shop has a spirit heart in it, we'll buy that. It has a key in it, we'll buy that. And it has a heart in it, we'll buy that too. We're not gonna buy the ladder, again. As far as I recall, no ladders in Super Meat Boy. There's no ladders in me, boy. I'm trying to do Tom Hanks, there's no crying in baseball. JJ, what am I doing here? Kate, why can't I remember? My Tom Hanks impression needs some work. I've mentioned this many times. I'm only capable of keeping one impression in my head. For a while it was Michael Caine, but now my Michael Caine impression has gone to shit because I've been... I saw Batman, or uh, Dark, Man, Dark Knight Rises. Dark Man Rises is something completely different. Did they ever make a sequel to Dark Man? The um, Sam Raimi movie where Liam Neeson plays a scientist who burns off half his face. That movie was funny. Um, but yeah, my Michael Caine impression is mostly gone now. And you don't do the broken voice. Taking this, like, verbatim from this movie called The Trip with Steve Coogan that you guys should see. Anyway, let's kill these dudes. Get the fuck out of there. My Bane impression is awful, though. And I'm not going to do it on camera, although I have several times in the Saving Progress podcast. You can go check that out if you're interested in seeing me make a complete fool of myself on many occasions. So you are almost dead. Kill it! Kill it! If it bleeds, we can... Oh, there it goes. It bleeds. And we can kill it. Uh, where's our boss room? There's our item room. Item room has Wiggle Worm. There are kind of worms in Super Meat Boy, but I don't really want to spend any time... Struggling with the goddamn disaster that is that, like, Fester's Quest shooting. So we're gonna find ourselves up against Mom here. A fight that I think is gonna be really easy, especially since we have Shears all charged up and ready to go. So let's pop that bad boy out and start doing some serious damage. And start doing some serious crowd control as well, which is the best part. Is that uh, we are going to be able to do damage to multiple sources, including enemies. While we're just kind of sitting around here. Mom's already at, like, 50%. Gonna keep this up. Recall, of course, you might be saying Northern Lion, this run is actually substantially easier than the Meat Boy Challenge run in the game. Why would you do this to yourself? It's, it's a foregone conclusion. Well, yes, but recall that the Meat Boy Challenge run in the game actually ends on Mom's heart, and we're gonna try to take it a little bit further than that. So we have the Polaroid, which we have to take. It's not a Meat Boy item necessarily, but you know, there's not a whole lot we can do about that, is there? Looks like we've got an XL floor here, which means we are absolutely gonna pop the world card. And it's still going to be a lot of rooms for us to get down to uh, the boss room. But that's okay. I can just kind of hang out in the corner and let these meat boys take care of the dirty work for me, I think, for the most part. So it's still like six or seven rooms, but at least we're not going through 30 rooms, you know, which is what we possibly could have been stuck with. So I kind of have to, I'm almost aiming the meat boys. Like, I send down here, like, just kind of swing them down here. And with that momentum, they eventually discover the blast assist. So I'm trying to play a little bit more defensively from, like, a me perspective right now and let the Meat Boys just do the dirty work for me, which is what I should have done from the start, but what can I say? Not always the greatest Isaac strategist. I tend to just kind of wing things. Did I say win things? I meant wing things. My favorite font in Microsoft Office. You ever have that kid in public school that would, like, write you a letter in Wingdings? And you're like, dude, don't be the weird kid. You ate glue in kindergarten, now you're writing letters in wingdings? Just write it in English like a normal person, please. Let's up, kill everything and everyone. Because I've been listening to Papa Roach today. Here we go, we've only got one more left. We've got two bosses to fight. We're not going to use the shears on the first boss. We're only going to use shears on the second boss. We should still be okay here. I mean, it, it's Daddy Longlegs. He can be sort of a pain in the dick. Does Daddy Longlegs give us Daddy Longlegs? If Daddy Longlegs gives us Daddy Longlegs, I may actually pick it up. 
so that could equalize things for us a little bit. Cause, and again, we're, we stand no chance of actually beating Isaac and Blue Baby like this, I feel. Keep in mind, when we fight Isaac and Blue Baby, particularly, I think Isaac, I know this for a fact. That's not Daddy Long Legs, that's Pentagram. I hate to do it, I'm taking it anyway. Uh, give us the sweet devil horns. Um, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? I was talking about Wingdings for a second. Papa Roach, I don't remember what happened. Okay. I apologize for taking the pentagram, but it's something that's going to give me... It, it's not a game-breaking item. It's not like I picked up a lard or anything. It's going to give me 7 HP ups. But what it does do is allow me to do more damage with my own tiers, which means I'm not solely relying on the shitty AI of Meat Boys. And I'm sure I could swing, like, uh, swing some kind of, t like, weave a tapestry of how the pentagram relates to Super Meat Boy if I had the time. Oh, you know, you got the Rapture in Super Meat Boy, and uh, the Rapture is all about Christianity, and the pentagram is a Christian symbol. I would say the pentagram relates to Super Meat Boy. Maybe there's a more obvious reference about the pentagram I'm missing. That would be pretty comical, actually. But you can see, like, this mom's heart fight is not going substantially well. I need better items to, to stand a chance as we move forward into the cathedral and beyond. So let's come down here, kill this dude. Meat Boys will continue doing their dirty work, or doing my dirty work, I should say. We'll pick this up. We'll go up to the next floor. Do we have chances for success here? I don't know, but we will see. Stranger things have happened. We've beaten the cathedral on several of these runs. It's been a little while since we've beaten the chest, though. I don't know if I've beaten the chest since I've been in Vancouver, actually. Now, sadly, we cannot get to that slot machine. We're running fairly low on health now, which is always a problem for us. Meat Boys, thank you. Do some chewing. Thank you again. And there we go. We should be fine there. No heart drops, sadly. Largely because we got rid of that child tower, but we need the Polaroid just in case we do make it to the chest. And we're just gonna dipsy doodle around these guys here. I don't want to shoot all those fires. Now, three Gurney Juniors equals one Spirit Hearts. As you can tell, I was very good at math class as a kid. Come on, me boys. Don't, no, no, Polaroid is in effect now. Don't die in this room. Dying to Gurney Juniors, there's no shame in that. But I don't wanna. There we go. No Red Hearts, but at least we're still going along here with our uh, Spirit Hearts. We've reached a dead end, unfortunately. Get some shots in here. Oh, there's a little... Okay, we're back in uh, Polaroid territory. Red Heart, I can pick up. That won't save me. Because we're already at the point where one hit will kill us. I don't think we're going to make it to Isaac or Blue Baby here. It all the... Oh, that doesn't help. This room should not be super difficult. But it has the potential, you know. When these guys explode, sometimes they explode in... No, uh... no, 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 Sometimes they explode in a, in a, you know, circle of bullets. God damn it. Okay. Well, as you can see, those are our items. Cube of meat, cube of meat, cube of meat, cube of meat, times two. SMB superfan pentagram and the shears. That was a good run. Thank you for the suggestion. Wait what you mean. Just circled your name so I know who you are. I think on my next Isaac run, these challenge runs might be getting a little... I might be... Balancing them a little bit too much in the game's favor. I might just do a normal run next time to see what happens But again as always thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time